guys. I don't know whose energy this is, but this is something that has to get out right now. So I'm going to tell you how this started. I went to work. I came home. I was like, okay, well, I'm sweaty from working. So I'm going to get my, um, a different shirt from the closet. I opened the door and my cards just flew everywhere. Um, and I was like, you gotta be kidding me. So I'm picking up my cards and I'm like, oh gosh, okay, well now my nails messed up. So it's like, okay, well I'll fix my nails. And then like I put all my cards on the table to get them all separated and cleaned up. And literally I felt like I was going to have a panic attack because I was like, one small little thing trickled into this thing that just blew up and it wasn't my energy. Like my cards fly around all the time. As if you know me, if you've ever been to my house, you know that I have a, a ghost that sometimes throws things, moves things around, whatever, you know, it's not a big deal. It happens. Um, and it, but anyways, back to the point, <clears throat> um, it got to the point where I felt like I couldn't breathe because I couldn't, I couldn't, I couldn't focus. I couldn't figure out what was going on. Everything was a disaster. Everything had just fallen apart and it was bad. And then like I sat down and I was like, okay, well, what decks do, am I going to, um, what decks do you want me to go with? And then I start pulling them out and I have like my whole table filled with all these different decks and like then that almost gives me a panic attack and I'm like I don't understand I don't understand and I had to take a deep breath you know you take a deep breath so that you can pause as the Bible says be still you take a breath you stop to pause so that you can hear spirit come through clearly and he said stop controlling and I heard stop controlling stop controlling if you would have known me a really long time ago, I would be, you would see that I had to have, I had to be in control of everything. It's because it's the way I was grew up. You know, everything had to be a certain way. You know, you had to do this or you had to do this. You couldn't have one thing out of place or, you know, you needed to just sit down and do as you're told, not as you see and, you know, all this. So it was it like I grew up into that needing to have control vibe, you know, and then spirits just like stop controlling, you know, once I started in on my journey and everything, it, it actually helped me to realize, you know, to see the way things actually are meant to be because, you know, we will freak out over problems in a relationship or lies and deceit because we're just so used to controlling everything, you know, we don't go with the flow. And when we don't go with the flow, what we're literally saying to God is, I have to control this because you can't do it. I don't believe that you're going to do it. I don't have the faith that you're going to do it. And I'm like, you know what? I don't even care. I've got to get this energy out. I will go in there and half of my nails won't even be done. And I, I just have to get this energy away. This hurts. Whoever is going through this energy right now in their soul where they feel like they're going to have a panic attack maybe because everything is just falling apart or just blown out of everywhere, literally God is saying, be still. Spirit is saying, be still. Be still and know that I'm God. It's okay. I got you. I got you. Everything may look like it's a big scattered mess to you, but it's okay because spirit sees it from the big picture. It's kind of like those, the, the paintings where the dots are really small. When you, when you're up real close and you scoot back, I had heard that analogy a long time ago, you know, when you scoot back or like when you see a photo zoomed in, you don't know what it is, but when you scoot back, you can see the whole picture, but we can't see it scooted back because we don't, we don't have the eyes to see it from scooted back, but God does because he knows what is going to happen in our future. He knows what's going to bring this happy home and this success, you know? So literally like, I don't, I don't know who's going through this, but I just want to tell you right now, it's okay. You do have people that love you. You have spirit guides that are around you. 
that are trying to, you know, calm you to show you, you know, it's okay. It's okay. Trust. You gotta have faith. If we ever pray to have more faith, that's usually when God gives us the opportunity to have more faith. He gives us a test where we can't see what the outcome is because he wants to see what he wants to see how what we do because we are the joint heirs of God. You know, sometimes he, you know, he will make a way where there's no way he may send unexpected money that we weren't expecting, you know, we were stressed out like I have all this stuff everywhere and I don't know where I'm going to pull this from. How am I going to pay this bill and this bill and this bill and still buy food for my kid? And I've been there before. I'm going to tell you right now. It's the only time I ever broke down and called my dad for money. I cried. I cried. Because I didn't have enough money that month to pay all my bills and um, get baby formula for my son. And to get groceries. You know, because I was a, a young mother and, you know, I had a baby. And, you know, I worked all the time. But it was, it was like we were struggling. And... <clears throat> remember the Bible says you have not because you ask not and all you have to do is ask God says all you have to do is knock and the door shall be opened all you have to do is have faith the size of a mustard seed teeny tiny dot even if you have only half of your nails done it's okay God says it's okay it's okay you can look like Complete and total disaster to the rest of the world because a breakthrough will sometimes appear to the rest of the world like a breakdown. Or it'll appear to us like we're having a breakdown. But really God is preparing us for a breakthrough. For this unexpected happiness that he's going to give us. Sometimes we have to let go of the bad things and the things that keep us unhappy so that we can have the ability to take on something that is good. Alright, I don't, so I don't really know where I'm going with this. We're just going to go. Because I'm not controlling, I'm not in control, God is. The divine spirit of truth. Look at this. Someone is freaking stressed. Freaking stressed. It's funny how a taste of your own medicine will make you sick. Uh, I think I'm going to be sick. Okay, so one person in this story is getting a taste of their own medicine. Okay. And here's the other person. She destroyed herself. Too many thoughts. She fell apart. Too many little pieces. She lost herself. Too many places. She fell in love. Too many little feelings. She discovered herself. Too many little stars she believed, too many little moments, and in the end, she was home. Too many little things that reminded her of herself. So this could be someone is stressed out and God is trying to remind this person who they are. Maybe they lost their self. I know it is very common for people to go into a relationship that starts out great and then everything just starts one thing and then it trickles down and everything blows up and, you know, we end up, you know, um, compromising something small here, compromising something small there, compromising something small here. And when we stand back, and look at the big picture from where we started. Uh, okay, yeah, that's confirmation. When we stand back and look, we've lost ourselves completely. We don't know who we are anymore because we've gave so much to this situation. It took everything that we were and we became someone who we weren't. You know, because, you know, maybe someone wanted to change just a little bit for someone to make someone else happy. But they knew a lot of times people say, you know, I'm going to change, I'm going to do this, but they know they're not going to do it forever. It's just like a temporary thing. Alright, anything in this spirit? 
I shuffle and nothing comes out, then, oh, nope, there we go. Alright, masculine is about to have some bad luck. Your, join, your journey is about to become much more difficult. Distorted masculine and a narcissistic karmic who is rounding up the flying monkeys. This distorted masculine is pissed. This masculine is the reason why he is having bad luck is because he's in his distorted masculine state. Okay. So And the reason why he's so mad is because he does not want to have these feelings. Someone put him in a spot to feel what he made someone else feel. To, to feel the pain of losing someone. Let's see. On the bottom of the deck, you had a hard-working, determined female. Okay, there's multiple people here. There is... Three, possibly four. Unless this is all one. Three, possibly four. I keep seeing the number four all day long today. So it might be four, but we'll see. All right, I'm going to go with these old decks. Let's see what's going on. All right, let's tell me about this distorted masculine, please, spirit. What does this distorted masculine need to know? For their highest good. They're not reaching out because they refuse to see. They've closed their throat off. They're not speaking. Oh. Because their love is has fallen in reverse. They feel hopeless. They did, they reverse or rebuild came sideways. They thought, I'm assuming this means they thought about rebuilding with a feminine, trying to see if they can get this feminine back, but it's went kind of sideways. Look at that. Three big heads and one small one, which makes three, possibly four. Okay, so there could be three people around this masculine that is trying to talk him into growing up. <laughs> I just heard growing up because he's so little. He's so little and his heads are so big. So maybe this someone's trying to teach this masculine to grow up. Maybe they're trying to... Have him breathe like a new breath of something new. Maybe they're trying to get him to see, to find his, his actual tune. He's got a, under the deck, he's got a decision to make. Number seven's popped up. Seven, seven. Um, the rebuild was 16, which breaks down to a seven. There's seven colors here that he can blow into, but he's not reaching out. 
and he's not speaking and he's not making a decision because he knows that all of his love shit is in reverse either that or it's not up to him one of the two All right, show me, show me about this hardworking, determined uh, female. She's trying, she's trying, her intuition is kind of sideways. All, right, all of these fell sideways, so I'm gonna I'm gonna spin them and see how they go. Each one. Okay, so she is not listening to her intuition. Really? Okay. All right. So we have got this hardworking feminine, right? She is not standing in her intuition right now, probably because she's lost herself. However, spirit's telling her as soon as she lets this go, she's going to have new love come in. Okay. The third eye chakra will open with this. Because right now her life is completely out of balance. Six plus one here becomes a seven. <clears throat> Six plus one down here becomes a seven. And seven here. Okay. So she's not right now. This hardworking female is currently not being patient. And she's not planning. The spirit's telling her. Don't worry. You've got harmony coming. Okay. Okay. I've got something for you, but I need you, I need you to turn this and step into your power because you're going, right now, you don't have a lot of strength. You aren't in your power right now, but I need you to flip this around because your partnership and your alliances, your your partnership, your relationship just because this is upside down, I don't want you to have your power upside down too. I need you to take your power back so that when this new person comes in, you're ready for them. You are in your power when this new person comes in. But I need you to trust me. Spirit saying, I need you to trust me. Have faith. Have faith that you'll get through this conflict and defeat with triumph. Seven again. I know right now you're in this mental conflict. And you and right now you may not want to be moving on. Because it's breaking your heart. And you don't see the light. And now you're not resting. You're doing nothing. Probably staying up having panic attacks. And giving me panic attacks. And you're not able to breathe and you feel like all you want to do is just cry and stay awake all night because you want to sit here and overthink. Stop overthinking. Unless you're a Virgo. If you're a Virgo, I'm sorry, that's an insult. But, like, don't overthink. And the way that you, and I know that's so, but joking aside, if, you're, if you have placements of Virgo, this is how you do this. And this is very hard for Virgos to learn. You stop overthinking when you learn to turn it over to faith. When you learn to turn it over to, if this shit falls apart, God's going to give me what it is that I need. But I have to have faith to wait on it. And right now, this feminine is, is not wanting to wait. She's not wait, wanting to wait because she's just wanting to be happy Because she just wanted her happiness. But a third person came into the mix. A narcissistic karmic, maybe. 
So right now the feminine is just working on, she's just working, trying to get her material up and she needs to stand in her power and take her power back. Let's see, what should, I don't even want to give the narcissistic karmic a good deck. What deck, spirit? Can't say I don't want to give them a good deck because they're all good. I love them all. All right. Well, I went to pick that one, but this one flipped up. Tell me about this narcissistic karmic. What's up with this narcissistic karmic? She's playing the victim. She's like, oh, me. They tricked me. I didn't do anything. I just wanted money. <laughs> she knew. She fucking knew. She was using her instinct because she thought, hey, I'm going to make, look at, look at this wolf up here. I'm going to make this masculine who's in his distorted energy uh, turn her, turn his head. If he look, if he looks back at me, you know, I can take him. I can get what I want. I can control him. I can get him to do what I want. She's going to try to control him through sex. Oh my God. I'm... Sometimes my spirit guides say highly inappropriate. Okay. We're just going to say this. She wants to... She's trying to put in his head that she will blow him. Okay, let's just... And that's how she thinks she's going to gain everything. What kind of enlightenment? So if something came to the surf something came to the surface about her. Someone learned something about this narcissistic karmic. And now they are all sad like Oh, this is so lame. I didn't want this to happen. Oh, please, God, now I need a miracle because I'm sad. I lost someone. I lost someone important. and Or now I feel guilty. Do they really feel guilty? Hell no. This, per this karmic is happy. They're just pretending to feel bad. Right now, literally... I just heard, this is right now. This karmic is pretending to be guilty. Like, that, or pretending like they have guilt and they're sorry about everything and that they're perfect. But they're fucking happy that you're miserable. This person is so happy that you are miserable. Because they believe now you just got to accept it. And just move on with your life. Even if you are miserable, just accept it. Nope, I just heard new deck. Yeah, they want to come against you. This is the three again, okay? Look at her face. She's trying, she's trying to do black magic or to just put bad energy on dun, 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 the lovers. Look at this. She's like, oh, this is what I just heard. This is her on the outside with this this feminine that's all sad and she's like oh my god what is going on I'm going to ruin everything and I'm going to come in there with my five of wands and start some fights <laughs> it's like she purposely did it you know, it's like those people that, um, 
do those shows where it's like, what would win? The T-Rex or the Megalodon? <laughs> you know, it's like she purposely, she purposely put these two together to start fighting. She wanted it to happen because she wanted to have fun. Literally, she wanted to have fun. And she's like, let's see which is going to win. Let's see who's going to give in first. Because I'm going to play them all. And this person is vindictive as shit. is on her head. I don't even know. But like in all, almost all of these, it's like the one with the black hair looks mad. And the one with the blonde hair is like, I'm going to destroy your world. Look, three skeletons and four Someone's trying, someone is trying to control or manipulate others. I'm assuming this karmic has somebody else. Maybe that's where the fourth person is. Or maybe she's playing around with multiple people herself. And she's trying to like manipulate them. To control them. To conjure up something that will make her happy and give her what she wants. This is all over money. This is all over money. She's like, oh, poor me. I need money. I'm going to conjure up all this shit and be like, oh, please give me some money. Pour some money in my cup, please. What the heck? What the heck? All right, let's see. Let's just skip. Let's 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 skip over. Let's pull one from here. Let's see what this says. Spirit same. 14, which breaks down to a 5. 5 means change. Um, water flight. Heaviness lifts. Birds are cast away. Weightlessness. Water flight. That's so weird. It's like a water and an air sign. Water flight. Okay, so Spirit's telling you not to worry. Because they're going to make it okay. Whoever is the good person in this. Whoever is this person. You're not necessarily the greatest person. So. Alright. Tell me. Tell me something else about this situation spirit. What, what should. The people in this situation expect over the next week. Just for the next week. So they know what's coming for the now. Okay. Okay, so Spirit said, because I was trying to figure out what this one would mean. Three and one break down to a four. Three and one break down to a four again. Um, that one person is trying to, I'm going to assume it's this person here. They're trying to build something that's going to take a little while, you know, because it says works that are created over periods of time. So this is someone who's working on something that may take them a little while, but they, what they're doing is going to be for their highest good and spirits saying, don't get off that path. Keep on your path. It's for your greatest good because 
This path is going to teach you to love yourself, to remember who you are. But spirits are literally saying sisterhood. They want you to find and call upon your tribe. It says friendships, allies, compatible souls, loyalty, joy, and delight. So maybe you've got a couple of friends that you call on when you're sad that come in and shine the light on you. So that even when you're in the darkness, in the bottom of the ocean, which is in your deepest emotions, because water is... The water sign is about emotions, like the water in all the cups. That's where you get the cups, where you get emotions from the cups because of the water that is held inside of it. Because it's water sign, kind of like, you know, like, like cancers are water signs. Um, but, um, Spirit's telling you, call on your friends. I want you to have your friends around so that you can step into the now and not worry about it. Okay, show me over the next month. What advice needs to be given for the next month? Heart, look at this. This is what I just said. Hard work needing to be done and to call upon your friends. What else for this? As I said in the last one, there's going to be, there's going to be fights and battles and arguments all around and just know it's coming. Okay. I'm seeing the five of swords. Okay. It was just the one that I saw. I'm not pulling it because it didn't come out this time, but. Okay, so yeah, Spirit's telling you to be careful, to make sure you stay on this path because they don't want your Ten of uh, Pentacles to be in reverse. Because if your Ten of Pentacles fall in reverse, so will your options, okay? So you got the Seven of Cups here too. Seven of Cups is like you're um, having choices, having options, something like that. So make sure you stay the path because if you get off the path, it's going to give you less money, which will give you less options. Not saying that you will have to have the best in everything or that you won't survive if you don't stay on this path. It Because, again, we read tarot because we have free will. And we come here to ask what is the best possible path for us to take to see what the outcome will be and to see what will happen if we take these paths. But ultimately, it is always, always our 100% responsibility and we are 100% accountable for our free will after hearing what happens with our choice with the past ahead. It's kind of like getting Tara's in my mind, Tara's like getting the download Dr. Strange has, you know, to see all the thousand paths and the one way that'll work out the best in your interest because you've, you've taken the time to, because a lot of people in the world think, Hey, I'm going to pray. And I'm going to get up and I'm going to go on. But you know what? That's not talking to God. I'm sorry. Like, you can pray and then you get up. But God wants a relationship with you. He wants it to be a two-way path. He wants to be able to talk to you. You know, because a lot of times we'll pray for something and God will send us a sign and send us a sign and send us a sign and send us a sign. But we don't listen. We don't listen. So some of us that do believe in God... And do believe where it, where Jesus told us in the Bible, um, I leave the divine spirit of truth here for you to speak to. Um, we had, we know that, you know, as long as we are setting our intentions to talk to the good, to talk to the light, you know, and I know that some do not, you know, these cards can go both ways because I literally on my, when I was scrolling, I saw one, someone's feed that said, messages from Lucifer and I was like oh that can't be good and that's probably where you're getting the bad energy from you know because some people do black magic I don't care what anybody says when they say it doesn't really happen it doesn't really do anything yes it does I'm sorry it does 
Okay, and we have to know and we have to protect ourselves, and that's why talking to the spirit of truth, we can see what's coming. So that if someone is sitting there doing um doing black magic and conjuring up demons and shit, we know it and we know how to protect ourselves. White candle. I just heard white candle. Actually, I was talking about that the other day. And I always heard white candle whenever I looked up and I was, then, you know, it's white. But that's my sage candle. Um, sage helps clear the air. Some people say you don't need it. But I'm going to tell you, and, but I'm going to tell you right now, Jesus used his, his, um, frankincense and his myrrh and his gold. And you know what those all do? They dispel evil spirits and they protect those that are there. So anyways, take it as it resonates. If you feel you need it, then you need it. I mean, you can go to the Dollar Tree and get a white candle. Supposedly white candles are, uh, you light it for protection. Kind of like, I guess, I, I, I guess that would make sense because I think even in, I'm not Catholic, so I can't really 100% justify for this, but I've, you always see the videos where they're lighting a white candle, um, you know, in memory. And so it would make sense if the white candle is for protection to protect your loved ones as they've gone on. I don't know, but that would actually be a really cute, cute thing to do. But either way, all right, let's see. All right, tell me, tell me the outcome if this person stays on this path, the path of getting their stuff in line, getting, doing their work, putting in the work and following the path you have set before them and finding who they are. And one year from now, where will this, where will this be? What, what will, do you want to say about a year from now? They stay on the path. The hangman usually means stuck. Look what it says in this deck. Getting stronger. Getting stronger in yourself and under the deck. Victory. You will obtain victory. This is the card of victory, success. You know, victor, victory news, letter or news coming. All right, so you will... All right, so if you stay the path and find yourself spirits telling you... Do not worry. You know, if you stay the path, um, oh, okay. Here's a warning. Don't become too greedy. Don't be too greedy. Okay. The star is a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful energy, but make sure when all of your goodness and everything comes in, you don't become greedy. You don't become egotistical because this victory, if you stay the path, I just heard will be quite abundant, which would go back to unexpected money and a happy home, improved in business, you know, all back from the beginning. So whoever is stressing out tonight, don't stress because God's got you. Um, sorry, this reading was all over the place, uh, but hopefully if this was meant for you to hear, you came and you heard it. Um, and so you can get some sleep tonight. Get some sleep. Um, actually, should I pull one more? Actually, let's end this on a funny note. I'm going to pull one of my funny cards. I haven't used these in forever. Give me one card for this story. For the one who's coming to listen to this story. That's not one. <laughs> well, okay, we'll just, we'll read this, the back, this one, the back of this one, and then read the front of these. Exhale that bullshit. Breathe. I just heard breathe, bitch. Be kind-hearted and full of love, but maintain boundaries like a motherfucker. 
All right. And the one I said we'd read both, F what they think. Put this card in your pocket and use it as your mantra today, all day and tomorrow, too, while you're at it. F what they think, F what they think, F what they think. All together now, F what they think. Let freedom ring. F what they think. You know what, I, I just I just got a vision of um, uh, on that show, Friends, like um, Rachel and Phoebe were going to go running and Rachel got there and she's like getting all ready to run and to run normal and then Phoebe starts to run and she's running all crazy like. And it embarrasses the other, it embarrasses Rachel. And when she doesn't want to go running with her again, and then eventually they talk at the end of it, and she tells her, you know, you embarrass, you're embarrassing to run with. And, you know, she tells her story, and, and Phoebe's like, Phoebe says, uh, why do you care what other people think? What does it matter? You know, I mean, because honestly, you're literally going to be running past them and most of them you're never going to see again. But running normal is boring. And she's like, she's like, I pretend like I'm running from Satan. <laughs> the cat. And like she runs crazy. And she's like, it's so much more fun when you can be free and not care what anybody else thinks when you just do your own thing. No matter how weird it is. And I am all about being weird. Like the weirder you are. The more fun your life is going to be. When you stop caring about what other people think. Only when you're weird and you worry. What other people think. Do you get stressed out. But if you're weird as all get out. Then you know what. Your life is going to be a whole hell of a lot more fun in my mind. And which is weird. Because I'm a Virgo sun. But that Aquarius moon though. <laughs> like. But then at the end, you know, Rachel goes in and she, she like really takes in what Phoebe said and she starts running all weird. Like, and she, she gets to the end and she's like, you were right. That was so much more fun. Normal running is boring, you know? And it was like, it opened her eyes. You know, if we can just stop worrying what the rest of the world says and we can just listen to our own heart and just be here and just stop controlling everything stop trying to be perfect stop trying to be fit into this little category and just be able to open up and just be that's when we will find our happiness that's when we will find who we truly are when we allow ourselves the freedom to be who we were meant to be and to stop trying to control what we think we were supposed to be. When we allow God to show us through our passions and through the things that we love, the things that light us up, the things that make us happy, that's when we will come alive. And in the end, this shit won't matter. Because in a year from now, you're probably not going to fucking remember this. Because this pain that is so bad right now, if you transform it into gratitude and let and release it and let it go, and then you work on yourself for a little while, God's going to open up all these doors, like tons of them. And he's going to bring you something new. He's going to pour a cup of love out for you. And I just heard the one, the one, the one who's going to come in and is going to treat you better. They might be the black sheep. Maybe that's the reason I have one weird, one black nail. They may be weird. This person may be weird. If so, they're probably going to be a whole hell of a lot more fun than someone who's just stuck up and super controlling. <laughs> I hope so. Because all I want is for everyone to just be happy. To stop caring about what the world thinks is weird. 
Because what is weird anyways? Who determined what is normal and what is weird? Anyways, that's what I got for you guys. If you like this video, please hit a like and subscribe down below. I really hope this story right now resonates with no one, but I'm pretty sure with the Leo moon right now, it probably will. And I am so sorry. Just breathe. Breathe. And if you want to come back, just hit that bell button below and you'll get notified for the next story. And if so, I will see you then. And if not, just stay weird. Bye. Catch me howling at the moon. Won't stop fighting to the very end.